All little secrets safe with me Oh, 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 little secret You and me for just one night So please baby, let's do it right Oh, oh, oh I'm gonna keep it and I know your lips still tight But not tighter than the grip that I feel tonight So from a step in the place You say, oh, me no text You say, oh, me no call you Say, me just a go on like me no bad and why you Baby, no go on with the one bag of drama You know, say, me no give me love to another See, it's say, you vex and you want big fight Babes are the sex, so me want to ignite Maybe we argue after round five And see if you feel the same way inside If I want you, I pray, don't bother me Cause stress and pain is a bad habit Check, check, check uh. <clears throat> Alright Tell you, bro Different reactions I told you, man From s- Whoa First of the face here, the voice here, don't know say a quote, it's a part of quote, it's a react. Shut up. And today, we have Yaki Awaken and the truth about your hair that nobody is talking about. No, I've definitely never brought a video like this on the channel before, but I've been checking out Yaki Awaken since, what, December of last year? Fully met me go on this, like, whole fruit fast, whole change up. I, I was already eating mostly vegetables still but i definitely understood more of fruits eating and the fruitarian lifestyle and how work i don't know about anybody else but especially somebody like me from a country like jamaica where we're literally made to eat fruits that grow off the trees around us my yard alone have like tree mango tree sour sap tree cherry tree everything so it's just natural for us to be eating fruits more than the vegetables. So him explain a lot of that. And I've been watching his videos for a good while now. His lives and you know everything. Very smart guy. Very well informed. Very educated on the human body. And the black human body I should say. Because if you know what, if you know what you know. Then you know that we and certain people were not the same. So we really shouldn't be eating the same things really and truly really and truly so i saw this video and it's on beyond 5d a channel that i check out a lot and i want to check it out i want to bring this type of content on the channel and see you know if we like it if you guys want to see more but more than likely you, pr you guys just probably want to see some drill stuff but i'm gonna keep putting these channels on the video you understand hopefully we can get some different audiences to come and look at these types of videos you know what i'm saying so Let's hit the like button, jump in the comments, and subscribe, subscribe to me. What, 4.8k subs, let's, we need 200 more to hit 5, and make it live, and let's jump into the video. So hair is very important, so if you're missing hair on the outside of your body, then that means you're missing hair where? And we're going to prove that the hair is the way you scan your environment. Mm. So we got to make sure that we pay attention to our hair. And that's why non-eat the hair is important. That's why our hair yeah. grows towards the sun. That's where we get the Bantu locks from. We locking that energy in. That's why black people must have their hair. Our hair was very religious. Our hair was very spiritual. and very <laughs> Saying that I'm looking at a black bald guy right here. <laughs> He's probably like, bro. Very, very ancient, y'all. It really was. Like it was a whole ritual with our hair. We used to lay down and get our hair washed with juices and berries. Put a couple strawberries in there, boo. You know what I'm saying? Like, like hair is sacred because mm. that's the only way you can decode and scan your environment. Because I'm showing y'all that the skin and the brain is the same thing. And through the hair of the skin and the brain, this mm. is how you scan your environment and you download all the information in your environment. And this have everything to do with well, why you sick. So my skin is a part of my brain. I need to make sure I ain't rubbing no lotion in there. You know, y'all, let me get the lotion. You, supposed, you gotta get, and look, the skin is so powerful and it absorbs. Think about all the chemicals, the perfumes, the mm. cologne, all of the, the moisturizer that you're putting in your skin is made with all these chemicals. You are literally, when you taint your skin, since your skin is made from the same cells of your brain, you're tainting what? Your brain. Your brain. Mm. A lot of y'all be in school taking tests, wondering why you can't think straight because you got a whole thing of Vaseline on. You your brain can't breathe. You done clogged your whole brain up because you done 
Put on oil on your skin. I know that's funny, but that's some true stuff, though. Think about it. Your skin is the largest organism. The skin is the largest thing on your body. It's the largest. The largest organ on your body still. And we just treat it like, like it doesn't even exist. We don't treat our skin very well. You know what I'm saying? In terms of, from his perspective, all the things that we're putting in. If we look at the lotions and the perfumes and everything that's in there, we realize a lot of these things shouldn't be going on your body because they end up going in your body. You understand? So, see what I have to watch these videos, bro. Open up the, the brainium, you know? This organ on your body. Not only is it excitatory, meaning it produces things like sweats and stuff like sweat and stuff like that, but it absorbs things as well. So we got to be very, very careful about what we putting in our skin. And if your skin is messed up, something is wrong with what? Y'all know what this is called? Holistic healing proteins. Again, I do not like the name protein, so we're going to mm. call it simple amino acid structures. Can y'all say that? Simple amino acid structures. Y'all can't understand that you're vegan and you're plant-based, but I one question, where do you get your protein? Well, I'll be one of those. Hey, look, if nothing irritate me the most is that question, y'all. I'm telling y'all, that ir man, that drive me up a wall. Cause it's like, man, it's, it's 2020 now. We should be already knowing that protein is not good for us. A neurotrans- Saying that, I have a big buckle of protein powder in the, in, the, in the kitchen still. Maybe after, you know what I'm saying, I get back to my bolo size, then I'll, that's for the protein but for now bro the fruits ain't filling me up like that bro the fruits ain't making me get the size that i want so i can't i can't do it you understand and then it's expensive bro i can't you know what i'm saying if i spend all of that money on the fruits or on the the, the vegetables that i did on the protein within three days that's done that protein going last me the whole month and i'm gonna get big Come on, bro. The things, those things are going to make me as big as the protein, bro. So I understand what you're saying. But if I'm trying to get size, if I'm in the gym and I'm trying to get bolo and the dolo, you understand? I'm trying to get mass, muscle mass. You know that it's expensive to eat as many fruits and vegetables as that, bro, to get to the size that I need. Come on, you know that. So I hear what you're saying, but I can't stop with the protein right now. Not right now. Maybe if I get richer... And I can, you know, afford those things and fine. Transmitters is impulses of electrical connectivity that shoots inside of your body that connects a certain part of your body with the other one. So say you need to walk. Guess what your brain going to do? Your brain is going to send messengers down to all the different cells inside of your leg because the body is made of cells, nerve and lymph. All right, so the nerves is what communicates and commands the cells of the body. The lymphatic system is what cleanses the cells of the body. And the blood is what feeds the phytonutrients and oxygen to the cells of the body. So when you have melanin neurotransmitters, the melanin neurotransmitter, it runs throughout the body and it commands the body to do certain things. Like how I'm walking around, this is instant, instant commands. It's telling my legs to move, so I'm moving. So it said that these melanin neurotransmitters are actually connected to the membrane receptors. So the skin or the hair scans the environment, then it gets the signal. The signal then tell the melanin neurotransmitter what to do with the body. So this shows you that the environment, how you receive your environment is actually what act out your movement. Your environment is what's instructing you to do your movement. Your environment is what instructing you to think. How your environment is, is how it molds your thinking. So if your environment is the ghetto, the projects, cockroaches, I grew up around a lot of those. Used to bring them to school all the time. Ask my mama. We grew up around a lot of roaches. But you see what I'm saying? <laughs> this have a psychological process. That's facts. I remember going to school one day and I took out a math book and I literally opened up the book and there's a roach crawling out. Of Close that, bro. What do you mean? Everybody was looking around like, Yo, you all right? I was like, yeah, bro. I just took out the wrong book. <laughs> took out the wrong book. The book clearly has math on it. And we're in math class. No, bro, I don't care yet. I, I, I had to just brush that off in my bag. Take it out. Rip that page out with all that cockroach blood on it. Yeah, crush that up, bro. And just throw that aside. New page. What, bro? I can't let nobody know that I was bringing roaches to school. I couldn't, bro, they would not let me live that down if anybody saw that. Says on you that you growing up in a suburb somewhere. You got dropped off at school. You didn't have to ride on the bus. All these different variations of your environment is what molds and shape your personality. Your personality actually comes from your environment. Y'all get that? Just think about it. 
And this is how you know that culture shows and manifests through the body. If somebody walked in here right now with all red on with their right pants leg pulled up with a red rag hanging out their left pocket, they're a what? They're a game banger. Did they have to tell you that? No, because they, they express the environment through them, through their clothing. And that's why we have to change our clothes. It has to be more cultural. That way we can start speaking. I shouldn't have to open my mouth for you to know who I am. I bought me a beautiful... He said the clothes should be cultural. Yes, he has on a Balmain Paris shirt. I don't think that's cultural. For going into it. But I understand what he's saying, though. The African garment, it just got messed up and all, that's why I couldn't wear it. Oh, see, so, oh, he just thought about it. He had the African garment, but it got messed up, so he couldn't wear it. Fine. I was going to be fly on here today. I was super, I was going to be real fly. Straight up. So my step might not be, you know, it's, it's, I was going to be out, you know what I'm saying? So it might not be as cool today, because I ain't got my African garment on. It's showing you that clothes are psychological. Have you ever put on a button down or a suit and you just felt like money? <laughs> Telling yes. you that everything about you is spiritual and psychological because all that is matter is mind. Mind is what creates matter. The reason why you exist is because you consciousness, you mind, wanted to experience creation, so you created a body to do so. That's all we're doing. All right, let's keep going. Next slide. All right, now this shows you the hair follicle anatomy. And what I just wanted to show y'all is this right here. Y'all see the blood, the nerves, and y'all see that the nervous system is actually connected to the hair follicle. And then the hair comes out the, ep uh, the epidermal layer of the skin and scan the environment. Mm. So I know this is going to hurt you, ladies. But what about y'all shaving? Shaving your legs, shaving your cooter mama, shaving everything, shaving your armpits. I even see some of y'all pick the hair out of y'all noses. Yeah. Y'all ain't scanning nothing. <laughs> like, straight up. I'm just saying. Facts. I'm just saying. If the most high intended on... And I was saying to myself the other day, maybe, because I have my girlfriend and I don't want my girlfriend to shave, especially because, you know, listening to Yaki and stuff like that. But even for me, like, they'll be like, oh, you need to shave down there because when I see it, oh, I don't like it, I don't rent. But I've never, ever felt like that. Even as a teenager, I've never felt like, oh, yo, if she don't shave, it's the worst thing. I'm just like fine it's just hair bro like i have hair you have hair <laughs> and we're here together like it's just life what do you mean you know so i think i've just been different from a long time too. so when i get information like this it kind of just reinforce what i've already been thinking on y'all to shave all of y'all hair off y'all body parts he would have y'all would have been born with razor fingernails and y'all can just do this for real i mean like when you start looking at creation and you start looking into nature to teach you Everything that you need, you was born with. Yeah. You see that? Just like a hyena was born with canines to rip the meat off the bones. It was born with claws to rip the meat off, then the flesh off the bones. You weren't born with claws, you born with fingernails. You born with fingers to peel back fruits, to peel an uh, uh, orange, to peel a banana. See that? You was born, you was born with regular teeth, but you can grind up your vegetables, but you can grind up your food. So based off your physiology, it shows you, and looking into fruits nature, it shows you what you're supposed to be doing with your body parts. Yep. So according to body parts and being born with the ligaments and fingers and everything that we got, can you shave your hair off your body with just the things that you came into this earth with? So why in the hell are you shaving all the hair off your body when we finding out how important hair is? You got black men that actually yeah. think they don't even want to have the sexual engagements if you if you ain't shaved. I got a four year old baby. I don't want that to look like my four year old baby. Right. See what I'm saying? So so we ain't even being taught how to look at sexuality. We were yeah. even being taught how to look at somebody that. and be attractive to them. You see a woman with her on her legs, you oh, she manly, she too masculine. Why? Because she's going through her natural evolutionary process. See what I'm saying? So we gotta really start redefining what health is. And health is nature. Nature is life, truth, classroom. Next slide. All right, sensory receptors in the skin. See that? And the one I want to talk about today, because this is off another one, I want to talk about the Merkel disc. The Merkel disc is some of the most powerful sensors in your skin. And these are all receivers or what we call sensory receptors. Notice all the ones you got. Y'all can write these down, but I want to focus on this one for the time of this lecture. Merkel's so disc. write that down. Merkel's disc. This stuff really exists. Your skin is straight scanning the environment and it's downloading information from its environment and you acting it out. And you acting it out through the Merkel's disc. All right. I know what my skin You know, once y'all got that right down, now. we'll switch to the next slide. Now I need to do more you know videos. <laughs> All right. Either one, it don't matter, son. I'm thirsty. Let me know once y'all done. 
Ain't that crazy though? You straight like you or a walking television. Facts. Y'all got that? Merkel's this. I'm gonna explain it in the next slide. I just need y'all to write it down. All right, so the Merkel's this is actually a receptor that is in your skin and a hair follicle sits on top of it. The hair scans the environment and gets the impression, whether it's temperature or they call it a thermoreceptor, whether it's pressure from the environment, whether it's a fight or flight from the environment, it actually reads that code, it goes through an amino acid process, and then it tells the brain whether to... Bro, we are supercomputers, you know. That's all this is proving to me as well. Like, look at what. We have so many layers of decoding our environment like what they used to decode the environment but i don't even know but i'm decoding it and i'm getting you know what i'm saying information i know i'm getting instructions from my brain to tell me what to do or you know what i mean like bro we are the real supercomputers even though i have a computer and a phone right in front of me i'm the real supercomputer grow in the environment or it tells the brain rather to actually protect itself so it's only two options that the cell is gonna do once the skin actually scan the environment. It's either gonna go through cellular reproduction or cellular growth or cellular protection. It cannot do them both, all right? Now, have you ever heard of fight or flight? That's what you call cellular protection. Can you grow while being in fight or flight? If you was running after a tiger or a lion or bear, is you worried about reproducing? Is you worried about how your clothes look? Is you worried about scoring an A on the test or not? Is you worried about growing? Is you worried about pituitary functioning? Hell no, you trying to get away from the lion, the tiger, and bear. You in state of fight or flight. So guess what your body's gonna do? It's gonna produce something called cortisol. Cortisol is produced by the- And then now the video done, but still. Hmm, man. I love these videos, man. I love these videos. I swear to you. Just keep me, you know? Keep me in my mindset, bro. Don't get me distracted with all of this worldly stuff, you know? Get me back to my natural self. You see this? You see this, bro? Never cut it, this. Never cut in this. You know what I mean? Definitely. That does make me, yo, fully. Well, I haven't even been to the barber in, since, what, August of last year? And then before then, it was April of that year. So I only went to the barber twice last year, bro only two times and i haven't been back since august i probably won't be back still you know what i mean like i can't lie to you but still yucky awaken on the truth about your hair that nobody is talking about we learned a lot from this we learned about merkel's disc and you know the sensory receptors under the skin and how they decode the environment and send information to the brain and that's when you're going to either go through what cellular protection or cellular production i think that's what he said but still we got a lot of information bro i like these types of videos hopefully you like them so we can do more but even if you don't like them i'm still gonna do more <laughs> you know what i mean so if you like it hit the like button jump in the comments and subscribe subscribe to me coach and i'm out man